everybody this is GTM coming back at you with another video tutorial on 3d studio max I'm basically just gonna be going over uh, one of the polygon tools with the cut modifier and this is continuing from basically the keyframe animation I wanted to kind of go over this video here and show how I can use the cut modifier to create a uh, you know basically we're gonna cut in some eyes and a mouth into our can so we can take it into uh, another tutorial where I'm going to introduce you to, to the morph modifier and creating morph targets and facial animations and facial expressions for a character or you know at least for a character for this can all right so as you can see I'm in my uh, you know I'm in 3d max here I'm gonna alt W maximize and then I'm gonna hit shift F to get out of safe frames and hit P to get into my perspective view all right, as you can see, here's our can. I'm going to right click it, hide unselected, and I'm just going to be working with the can here. So let me zoom out and get hide these targets really quick. Or, you know, let me actually go here to my hierarchy and make sure that my targets are hidden as well. All right, back to my can here. All right, I'm going to go to my modifier here, turn off my turbo smooth, and as you can see our can I'm gonna actually turn this so it's facing in our front view let's see right there and now we are in front okay you can see here the can is basically symmetrical so it was modeled with a uh, eight sides and three in height as I started and you can see if I were to cut this can in half that we can symmetry with the symmetry modifier so how this is gonna work uh, I'm going to introduce you to the cut tool, which is in edge mode. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is actually, uh, let me go ahead and delete this turbo smooth, but I'm going to convert this into an edible poly. Then go to edge mode. I'm going to scroll down and look for my cut tool, which is right here. All right. So from here, I'm going to mouse over my uh, my geometry and I'm gonna go right about here now the cut tool works it's actually a very powerful tool the one thing you gotta be aware of is you can't have floating verts or you know a vertex has to be connected to an edge so I'm just gonna basically cut out you know a simple section that's gonna represent an eye and I'll close it off just like that and then I'll go right by the area right here in the middle which I'm going to create some kind of opening for our mouth just like that all right once I got that cut I'm gonna switch to my polygons or polygon mode and I'm just gonna go ahead and um, select these faces now and just delete them out and as you can see now I have you know basically just cut a hole two holes into this can. Now the thing is right here when we see the vertexes we cannot leave those floating so one of the main rules of modeling is you can't have floating vertexes in most cases so watch if I throw a turbo smooth on it my geometry is gonna be pretty jacked up it's pretty much a hot mess right now so that's what we don't want so we need to control that and by doing that I'm actually gonna go right back to the edge edge mode back to my cut tool and I'm actually gonna cut those vertex points and meet them to another vertex and once you cut make sure you double check just kinda click on the vertex and move it around to see if it actually connected sometimes they just don't connect and you might have to weld them alright so I'm back to my cut tool and let's see I guess I could probably just cut that right there for now I mean I mean normally I might cut it all the way around but just for this demonstration here uh, looks like we got an extra vert there I don't want so I'm gonna go ahead and you know maybe uh, cut that right there this one I'm just gonna cut straight across you can see I just went to the halfway point oh actually I'm gonna control Z that I just wanted to go right there all right right here I'm gonna actually cut to that point all right now to get rid of this floating vert you click it but don't hit delete because that deletes the face so all you want to do is actually select the vert hold control key on the keyboard 
and go to edit vertices and just hold and then click remove that will get rid of that vert now let's go over here and um you know let's cut this uh these edges now i could technically go right here but i think i'm actually going to walk this one around let me control z that let me walk this around and i'm going to go to the halfway point right there all right that should be pretty good and now i got this little area here i'm going to cut this maybe right to that part oops let's make sure it connects so i'm going to click click and then i'm going to connect to that vert and like i said let's double check to make sure that that vert connected properly okay it looks like it did all right that looks pretty good so now you can see that since we connected these verts that our geometry is more in control now all right so now all i gotta do now is i'm gonna go ahead and symmetry this model all right one thing i'm gonna do is uh, i'm gonna make sure this uh top of this can i'm gonna detach that we'll just call that the cap this way when i detach it it's not part of the the can itself all right so now i'm going to just go ahead and take the can and we're going to symmetry it now a couple ways we can do this i can just grab half of it delete it and then symmetry it or just straight symmetry it from the whole can so i want to go to my modifiers i got the can selected oops let me get out of here got the can selected I'm going to go to modifier and let's go to um, where am I? Symmetry right here. Notice my symmetry is off, so I got to change the axis. Let's go to Z. All right, but now I got to flip it. Oh, uh, let's see. Sorry, maybe it's the Y, and then flip it. There we go. Now you can see with the symmetry modifier, it's in mirror mode. We want to make sure that uh, we get it close enough to where it welds. Now sometimes you got to be careful that you don't get too close with the weld. Sometimes you might get a, a weird looking, basically a, a weird weld might happen. All right, looks pretty good. So we might want to clean up some edges afterwards, but all right, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to test it with a turbo smooth on top just to see if everything worked out. Looks pretty good. Ice lines. All right. Not bad. So now from here, if I wanted to kind of, uh, you know, add some details, I would basically just, uh, you know, modify the geometry here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Let's go ahead and collapse this and lock it in place. And you know what? I possibly might get rid of this edge right here. So, I mean, not that it's necessary, but I'm going to go ahead and control remove the edge let's throw a turbo smooth on here all right looks pretty good all right now basically I'm gonna you know if I were to um, add some details technically I really only got to worry about one half of the can and then I would basically um, you know basically re it again so I mean you know just to add some detail you know maybe some eyelids or something you know I might actually just hold down shift duplicate the edge just pull it out a little bit and maybe scale it in maybe bring it back in like that scale it out or scale it in and then I can you know basically kind of shape that out a bit you know if I needed to go in uh, my vertex mode and showing results and I can kind of sculpt this out you know maybe I need to pull this back out and just give them more of an eyelid Let me click that edge right here and and that's how we can basically shape them up a little bit you know and of course you can get really detailed with this maybe add more cuts and so forth and then I would do the same thing with the mouth so I come back maybe grab the border here and you know maybe um, let's bring this out you know actually let's pull it out I'm gonna shift drag it out scale it back in maybe 
take the Y axis or Z axis and pull it down. You know, then maybe pull down shift again, scale it in, and maybe pull this back a bit. And then of course we can like help sculpt it out. Maybe I'll go in smooth form here, and grab the border. And let's kind of pull that out. And then of course we can probably shape this out a little bit. Now what I normally do is, uh, you know, I just kind of do the bulk of it. Give him a bigger lip here. And then I might take this into a program like Mudbox and sculpt them out a little bit more. Add some detail. In order to do that, you basically, you know, once you're satisfied with the model. Here, let me go ahead and um, re-symmetry this again. And let me fix that. Which, by the way, if this ever happens to you, if you like you lose your vertexes, just go to your edible poly, convert it to mesh, and then back to an edible poly, and that should reset, the, you know, the the geometry, and that way you can um, get your vertexes back. Let me make sure I fix that up a little bit. All right, let's uh, turbo smooth on here and check them out. Anyways, that's the general idea, and let me go ahead and uh, now let me go ahead and re symmetry them. So I'd re symmetry them. Let's get them back on the Y, and that's good right there. And let's make sure the symmetry mirror mode is welded close. There we go. Let's collapse it. So another turbo smooth on and just to see how it's done. Alright, so that's one way of cutting in eyes and basic characters. Just remember with the cut tool, it's a very powerful tool. Just make sure you don't have any floating verts. You want uh, the verts to connect to an edge or another vertex, basically to another vertex. Alright, now from here I'd basically probably just reattach everything back together. And then I would export this out. Into um, you know something like a mud box. Or you know ZBrush if you have it. So I would just make sure this was all zeroed out. By clicking on the cam. Go to my XYZ axis. I'm going to reset that by right left click on the mouse. To zero it out. You can see it's center of the grid. And then I would just take this file, file, export, export selected, just put it on our desktop, and I would export this as a OBJ file. And whatever I'll call it my can. Save it. This will pop open if you have a program like ZBrush and Mudbox, and if you want to just kind of sculpt onto them. Uh, basically, I would probably keep my precision normal. Um, I don't have them unwrapped or anything, so that would be, you know, if you want to check unwrapping your object so you can paint it into Mudbox, um, go to the pelt mapping, you know, pelt mapping tutorial I'll have. Otherwise, if you did unwrap, you know, eventually unwrap it, you just check texture coordinates. Preset Mudbox, I use Mudbox, uh, like, you know, a lot of people obviously use ZBrush, um, and then just export it out. Once you're done, you have the, you know, you have the basic, uh, you know, OBJ object here, and then you can open up Mudbox and uh, import it in. And then eventually you'll get a, you know, you'll get a pretty interesting, uh, whatever character. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'll show you a version that I did. That will, you know, that you'll be able to work on for, you know, basically creating morph targets and facial animations. Okay, so uh, here's the version um, 
I ended up uh, sculpting after you know I did all the cuts and basically tweaked it out and took it to mud box. Not that you need mud box or something, uh, you know, or ZBrush, but because you can still kind of sculpt and max. But here's the version I had. Um, as you can see, um, you know, he has all his uh, bend modifiers and stuff like that, and we uh, select on the object itself and. Let me um, get rid of my safe frames here. And um, this was the final output one I have right here. He was uh, basically made for a still render. So um, he's been collapsed and everything for the final render. But yeah, this is what he ended up looking like. So uh, in the next video tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to create facial morphs. That way you can't animate your character or, you know, position them or you know, create different unique uh, facial expressions. All right, until next time, uh, you know, I'll see you in the next video tutorial. All right, take care.